Welcome to the fourth in a seven-part series on anticoagulants. In this video, we discuss the low molecular weight heparins. We'll begin with the following take-home points. Low molecular weight heparins are made by heparin depolymerization. Low molecular weight heparins inhibit factor 10A, but not thrombin. Fondaparinox is a low molecular weight heparin that retains only the heparin pentasaccharide. Low molecular weight heparins are derived from heparin. Unfractionated heparin has a pentasaccharide chain and a long tail of different length polysaccharides. Unfractionated heparin is a lar rather large protein with a high molecular weight of about 15,000 Daltons. To make low molecular weight heparin, unfractionated heparin is subjected to depolymerization. The resulting product has a mean molecular weight of approximately 4,000 to 5,000 Daltons. Thus, it is appropriately named low molecular weight heparin. Like unfractionated heparin, low molecular weight heparins inactivate factor 10A via antithrombin. However, unlike heparin, low molecular weight heparins do not have the minimum number of polysaccharides to complex with both antithrombin and thrombin, and thus cannot inactivate thrombin. Low molecular weight heparins are subcutaneously administered, which facilitates outpatient treatment. Low molecular weight heparins are metabolized in the kidneys with about 10 to 40 percent renal excretion. After subcutaneous administration, low molecular weight heparins achieve peak plasma levels approximately three to five hours later. In normal renal function, the elimination half-life is about six hours with a range of three to seven hours. With twice daily administration, steady state levels are reached by day three. The currently available low molecular weight heparins in the United, in the United States include enoxaparin, dalteparin, and tenzaparin. Low molecular weight heparin indications include venous thromboembolism prophylaxis and or treatment. They are effective in the management of cancer-associated thrombosis and are also indicated in the management of acute coronary syndromes. They are the preferred anticoagulant for thrombosis management in pregnancy because they do not cross the placenta. Finally, let's discuss the ultra-low molecular weight heparin, Fondaparinox. Fondaparinox is also derived from unfractionated heparin. Unfractionated heparin undergoes depolymerization to remove all polysaccharides, leaving behind the single pentasaccharide. This synthetic pentasaccharide sequence makes up the minimal antithrombin binding region of heparin. Some properties of fondaparinox include its small molecular weight of approximately 1,700 Daltons. Like the low molecular weight heparins, fondaparinox inhibits factor 10A but does not inhibit thrombin. Fondaparinox undergoes primarily renal exc excretion, and it has a half-life of 15 to 17 hours. Its long half-life permits once daily dosing. Fondaparinox is indicated for venous thromboembolism prophylaxis and treatment. It is also indicated for the treatment of high-risk superficial venous thrombosis. Finally, fondaparinox is indicated in the management of heparin-induced thrombocytopenia. In summary, low molecular weight heparins are made from heparin depolymerization. Low molecular weight heparins inhibit factor 10A, but not thrombin. The ultimate low molecular weight heparin is fondaparinox, which retains only the heparin pentasaccharide binding site. This concludes our video on anticoagulants, with a focus on low molecular weight heparins.